Hi guys and welcome back to Frame Nature. Recently I went on a day trip to a town called Whitby on the coast of Yorkshire. And whilst I was there, I decided that I wanted to make a saltwater ecosphere. The featured comment for this video is from Rico, who says that the videos on this channel have inspired him to make his own ecosphere, which is absolutely fantastic. Let me know in the comments down below if you've made your own ecospheres. I'd also like to remind you all that I've got an Instagram account, so go ahead and follow me there to keep up to date with everything that's going on at let's underscore frame underscore nature. So as I was just saying, whilst I was in Whitby, I was inspired to make my own saltwater ecosphere. So as I was walking along the beach, I was keeping an eye out for any materials that I thought would be suitable to gather and put inside the ecosphere. I hadn't really planned this in advance, so I didn't bring a jar with me, but I did have a drinking bottle, so I decided the best way to gather materials would be to put it inside the plastic drinking bottle, take it home with me, and then make the ecosphere when I got home. So as I was walking along, I came across this small little rock pool, and growing inside this rock pool seemed to be this sort of salt water algae, which I thought would look really good inside an ecosphere, as it's so green and colourful. So I decided to gather some sand and some water, and also some of the algae. I only needed to take a small amount, but look how green it is. And I also took some of this seaweed. I made sure to capture as much water as possible by removing all the air from the bottle as I knew that the jar that I had was actually quite a lot bigger than this bottle so I wanted to make sure that I'd gathered as much water as possible. So there we have it, I put the lid on and I know that I said I was going to be putting it in a jar but just look at it in the bottle. I think even just in a plastic bottle it looks fantastic. So if you guys are unable to get a glass jar to make your own ecosphere, but you still want to make one, I'm sure you can find a plastic bottle to make one with, because even this just looks brilliant, I think. But I had a problem. I don't think I've got enough water here. Like I said, I think I need to gather more water. So I went along the beach and I managed to find this bit of litter. Someone had left behind a bottle. As a side note, littering is absolutely disgusting, so make sure you don't do it. But, in this circumstance, I think I'm able to reuse it, so I gathered it, made sure that I didn't step on the jellyfish on the way down to the water, and then also filled up this bottle with more water to make sure that I had enough. I was actually surprisingly shocked at how warm the water was. I was confident my toes were going to be absolutely freezing doing this, but it actually wasn't, it was okay. But anyway, our day was coming to an end, so it was time to go home with the materials that we'd gathered and make the ecosphere. This ecosphere is going to be really easy to make, as I don't think there's any animals inside here that we need to be worried about. It's just sand, water and a couple of plants. So I took the lid off and began to remove the seaweed and the algae from the bottle. In order to get all of the sand out of the bottle, I decided that I was going to turn it upside down, make sure that all the sand then went to the nozzle and then unscrew the lid that way. By doing this, the water will push all the sand out of the bottle and therefore not leave any behind. There you go, look how successful that was. Every single grain of sand was removed from the bottle. I don't want to call myself a genius, but I'm a genius. I also topped up the jar with a bit more of the water that I gathered from the other bottle and I'm really glad that I found that other bottle because one bottle definitely wouldn't have been enough. So it's really good that I was able to find that bottle and reuse it for a good purpose. 
I then separated the seaweed into a smaller section as I didn't think I needed all of it. And then using the tweezers, planted some of it into the sand so that it would stay where it was. The same thing kind of happened with the algae as well. I thought there was actually too much. So I only grabbed a little bit of it and dropped it in towards the back so that it's a nice green backdrop for the ecosphere. And as I spin it round so it's facing the front, I think it looks absolutely great. I put the lid on and I was so pleased at what I'd made. I think this looks brilliant. The only thing left to do now is to get some good footage of the ecosphere. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a comment down below and drop me a like. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at let's underscore frame underscore nature. And I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers, guys.